Hey, 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 good morning, Grand Rising, good afternoon, great day, good evening, good night. It just depends on where you are, but I hope it's good, I hope it's great. How y'all doing, Weed? How y'all doing? This is your girl, Lati, here at Tears and Weed Tarot, where we use anything that the Spirit wants to use to bring messages from the Spirit. So I hope you can rock with that, because we bring in everything. We think about how Source has spoken to its many nations a Weed all over the plane and we also look at how source speaks to us through nature science biology chemistry everything because i think that everything has a word from the source written in it considering that source created it all so we see how source speaks to, to us and through us from everything so again i hope y'all guys are having a great moment whatever your now is i hope it's beautiful i need a sip of coffee because right now for me it's still early and i need a sip hmm Thank y'all so much for waiting for me with through that. Now, I would like to pray. And I pray that, you know, I, my connection to my highest self that knows my highest good, my highest spiritual self, yes, that knows my highest good. This highest spiritual self that me, that eternal essence of me, yes, is connected to the infinite intelligence of the most high God, of our source, our creation, the logos, yes, the beginning, the all. And that infinite intelligence created the all with the source. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. It made you as well. And I am asking to my connection to be established and strengthened that I am only used at this time for the infinite intelligence to speak to the wheat field, to have it be a, a message for whatever it is that you would like to say. And I ask that you seal this channel, that you protect it and you surround me in the hedge of your highest white light so that nothing can come against the message as it's being delivered or any of the wheat that is here to receive it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yes, we have to put an ashe on that. The authority that was granted to me when I was created by that infinite intelligence of the source gave me some authority and I stand on my authority to seal this prayer and I call it done. Ashe. All right, y'all. Woo! These eyes still watering. I told y'all this a little, you know, we ain't really got up and going yet. Or maybe that was just an infinite that, you know, I get emotional when I pray. Just saying, y'all, I do. All right, all right. So we have been going into this book here, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Yes. And Spirit said we still have a message in here. Are we... Mm -hmm this page? I swear. Ah, okay. Spirit says that uh, we want to come back to this lesson. If y'all can get this in here and focus. Oh yeah, there we go. You see where that underlying is where we talk about uncertainty? Yeah, we kind of went into that earlier this week. I think a couple days ago we talked about it. It's a message down there. I think it's called Factor in Uncertainty. Yes. So if uh, you guys go back and take a look at that message to factor in, uncertainty is a part of the wisdom of life. Um, yeah, when it's uncertain, I mean, the stuff can come at you all crazy and sideways. I mean, it could throw you for a loop, right? But uh, there's a wisdom that's operating in that. And oftentimes we're so deep in the woods, it, deep in the woods, yeah, both. Deep in the woods and deep in the weeds to be able to see what is really the design outside of where you are in your field of focus, right? So, it's always helpful to me to make myself as small as possible. I know that might sound weird to some people, right? Let me put this back on my lap because Spirit says, no, we're not done with that. We haven't finished our thing, but we need to say this, right? It helps me to think about um, being really, really small. Oftentimes we make ourselves so big and so grand, like everything is big and everything is, you know, huge. But in actuality, we're like grains of sand, like, right, like star seeds, stardust. And when I think about myself as being a star seed or just a little seed, you know, a pixel, a grain of sand, um, it really brings my life into focus with that thing. I can actually... Uh, put things in perspective yeah because when I become so small and I can look up and look around me I can see the grandness of life I think that's one of the beautiful things about uh, the night sky 
or going to the ocean, right? Those two places for me or like the mountains, like standing at the foot of the mountains where you can see like how huge it is and uh, you, you can see how vast and deep the ocean is, especially when one, I told you we had one of them, them blue whales pop up on you and that thing looked like the Empire State Building just jumped up out the water. You'd be looking like, what oh yes we it will put you in a humble position okay you will be like oh life is so much more than what we consider on a daily basis like we don't even think that 70 percent of this planet is covered in water and that b shit as big as blue whales is living around down there like baby blue whales come they come out the size of school buses like can you imagine pushing out of something the size of a school bus trying to feed something as big as a school bus. Like, I, my whole kid is a school bus. You know how much they eat on a daily basis? Shh. Okay. I'm just saying. Considering stuff like that helps you put your life, your whole life, your whole week field in perspective. Yeah, yeah, we do. Because... Uh, we can look and see that it's things so much bigger than us. Like, there's things that's happening on this planet that's so huge that I can handle what's going on in my space. And that's not diminishing anybody's anything that you're going through. It's not to diminish. It's not to uh, uh, dismiss or, 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 or any of that. It is just to say that we are pixels in this grand design. And sometimes we can't see why things happen because we are so close up on that thing. We are so close in deep in the weeds, so deep in, in the woods that we can't see the, the whole design. Are you ready for the text now, Spirit? Spirit says yes. Where are we going? Whew. God says, good luck is nothing but preparedness and opportunity coming together. Now, that's a word. Good luck is nothing but preparedness and opportunity meeting. Now, I got a feeling when the Spirit said preparedness, right? Because preparedness always precedes the opportunity. If you are looking for an opportunity or waiting for an opportunity, dreaming of an opportunity, but you're not getting prepared, how are you going to receive it? And maybe the things that are coming against you in your life, the tears, the experiences, the events, the tragedies, the, the, the hurt, the betrayal, the rejection, is all designed to prepare you for the opportunity that you're praying for. Ooh, spirit, come on in here and talk to you what you feel. Tell them, say, hey, as you go through your day and you experience all these things that come against you, my beloved, yeah, use that as preparedness to take you to where you trying to go. Oh yes, you asking for something, beloved. You in your mind manifesting something. You are meditating on something. You got something in there that you know show sure enough gonna pop off like this. And when I say pop, like pop, 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 like you uh frying some bacon and that grease get to popping, and you get, oh, oh, yeah, it's like hot like that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. Come on, we, you praying and meditating on something, but you got to get prepared for that thing, my we. You have to see how everything in your life is preparing you so you can receive that thing. You want to blow up, my we? You want to blow up? I mean, like, show enough blow up? See, here we go again with these conversations because you know when I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to me too. Oh, yeah. And as soon as I say this, oh, I got to get ready. I'm just saying. Got to get ready because you got to prepare yourself. We, and I got to be prepared. You got to be prepared. We got to be prepared. You try to blow up and get that thing off and kick it off and do that there thing like that there. Oh, yeah. You going to have some haters. Y'all talking about Halle Berry with the Little Mermaid before that shit even hit the trailer came out. This just honey had had over two million haters because they think a fictional cartoon character that they done changed, Disney done changed. But the people are so attached to something that's not even fuck real. 
that they can't even see the unrealness change. So how do you think folks going to see you with your whole wheat self when you start changing, my wheat? When you start going after your dream? When you start getting focused on what you got on up in, up in here, what you got in this hard space that, that that it keeps beating at you and keep beating at you and saying you need to move and step out on this thing. Do you think is you are you are you ready now? Are your preparedness is your preparedness ready to meet that opportunity? Because folks gonna be like, oh, she blessed. Oh, that was just good luck. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. It ain't just good luck. It's preparedness. When it meets that opportunity, that's when favor come on in. Why do you got to get ready, my wheat, so you can stay ready? How do you get prepared? By staying prepared. You see that new thing, that next new thing that you want to do, spirit drop that nugget on you. You got it in your mind. You got it in your vision. You ego locked in on it. You target focused on that thing. Start moving on it right now. Start moving. Move, move right now. Move right now. We, it's always now anyway. So whenever you move, it's still now. But I'm just saying, how many nows you going to let go past before you jump into your now? Move into your now right now, we. Right now. Start. Figure out how to get up on this hit thing. It could be rough and rocky and shaky, but you can see your progress and get some inspiration and motivation from where you started to where you at right now. Keep you going. Yes. Don't matter how many people doing it with you. Just do it. Do it because you're passionate about it. Do it because you love it. And when you do that and you keep getting prepared and prepare and prepare and prepare, 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 that opportunity is going to show up. And when that opportunity show up, boom, baby, you you going to bust up out that thing. Okay? You going to bust up out of there like a Brahma bull, like somebody been holding back that gate. Like you been back on that gate, like open this thing up. And as soon as it opens, boom, you coming up out that boy like, Yes, let's go. Let's get it. Because I've been getting ready. I'm prepared. I've been back here like this. Like, let's go, y'all. Oh, let's go. Let's go. As soon as they open up this motherfucking gate, I'm gone. That's how you got to be. That's how you got to be. You got to be so ready that, you, I mean, like, you got to be water finna boil over ready. You got to be like, look, I'm right here at the end. Like, as soon as this opportunity comes, it's time to bust up out this bitch. I'm, I'm like, I'm finna tear the roof down. I'm pulling walls down in this bitch. That's right, because we breaking chains around here. We breaking chains. When the time is, it? it's always now. Always now to break yourself up out there. Get prepared now, my wee spirit. Said we got to get back into this text. All right. When the two... Okay, we got to start over. Good luck is nothing but preparedness and opportunity coming together. When the two are mixed together with an alert witnessing of the chaos, we just talked about that shit don't come. You start getting ready for a blessing, for something that you know you for sure going to manifest up in here. Oh, yeah, the chaos is coming. Because you got to get prepared. My week, that chaos is a part of the preparedness. We don't see it like that, but it is. That chaos is a part of the preparedness. Let's go, spirit. Let's go. Let's tell them. Uh... When the two are mixed together with an alert witnessing of the kind, be able to observe the calm, chaos. Can you see it? Can you just observe it and look at that thing and then decide how you want to move around through it? Oh, yeah. A solution emerges that will be evolutionary, of an evolutionary benefit to you and all those that you come into contact with. This is the perfect recipe for success, and it is based on the law of detachment. I'm going to have to read that again just so we can get that whole full thing. Let's just take two seconds, two minutes, a minute, whatever, how long it takes. We're here together right now. Let's not rush the feeling. Don't rush the feeling, beloved. Oh, no. Set for a spell, okay? Good luck. All them blessings. Come on now. Good luck comes. Good luck is nothing but preparedness and opportunity coming together preparedness and opportunity Ooh, that just sounds so good i like that good luck is nothing but preparedness and opportunity coming together when the two are mixed together with an alert witnessing observing watching the chaos alert witnessing of the chaos a solution emerges that will be of evolutionary benefit to you and all those that you come in contact with. And this is the perfect recipe for success. But what is it based on? The law of detachment. 
You can't be attached and affixed to that thing on how it's going to play out, how it's supposed to happen. None of that. You can't be attached to the people that you think supposed to help you along the way, my beloved. You cannot. You're not going to get your blessings where you think you're supposed to find them at. They're not there. It's probably pushing you into a whole nother different space. That's a part of the chaos, beloved. That is a part of the chaos. But when you can sit back and watch it and observe it and have a, 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 a outside perspective, like a third party perspective on that thing almost, you know, pull yourself out of it, lift yourself up to a higher perspective to see the bigger picture. You can see that the problem is uh, carrying the solution. Like how we talk about all the time when we do them empowering questions and we say, am I living what I feel? Or not, right? You have to take that question and say, I feel what I live. If you're going to answer it, it's a tip, a trick. Help me, spirit, to get the answer from the question. But the way that you get the answer from the question is by observing, rereading the question, studying the, the, the structure of the question. So if your question is representative of the problem in your life, that problem is asking you something. You have to respond to something that's requiring something from you. You have to ask yourself, beloved, or look at the question and see if the answer is in there. Asking yourself, how can I solve my issue? Just looking at it. Even if you don't attach yourself to it with the mind, how do I solve this issue? Or how can this issue be solved? And then you start, this issue can be solved by. Or this situation requires X, Y, Z. In order to get X, Y, Z, we need to do A, B, and C. And A, B is there, but C isn't. How do we resolve C? So it kind of like take the whole situation, break it down, bust it down to see what is really there, observing it in such a way. And then you can just only focus on that target thing, save your energy, you know, make things a little bit lighter for yourself. Is there anything else, Spirit, that you would like? Yes. What would you like to say? It's something in the book. Just one only? Would you like one and two? Just what? One. Okay. Thank you. We're going to have to show it again, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. It is it is fall. Sinus is going crazy. Eyes is watering. You know, allergies. Come on. It's just that time of year. Y'all have to forgive me. Uh, accept me in this moment. Applying the law of detachment. We just have to get that in there. Leave it up there just for a second, just in case you want to take a little snippet of it or you want to uh, get that back in focus. Take, you know, have a little read before I go into it. We done read this before, so if you guys see one of them rising messages, go on back through them archives. I'm sure you found something. Just scroll through and see what spirit jumps out at you. We've been doing this other little thing, too. It's like these little 60-second snippets so you can see portions of different messages. And if you want to see the whole message, just click on the little play button in there, I think. Or it takes you down in there to the title where you can find the full episode we're making episodes spirit says we're gonna find a full episode and then you can watch that full message and get the full context full, full context but i just wanted to give y'all a little bite and them little bites is what your spirit says okay now that's a bite then you just snap that bite and we'll put it out there but uh you know it's plenty more and down in them archives we got four plates not bites you know what i mean them appetizers them little munchies you know you can come just grab a little taste but the full appetizer of the entree is down in the archives. Okay, so let's get back on in here. Spirit says, today I will commit myself to detachment. Ooh, come on, spirit. I will allow myself and those around me the freedom to be as they are. Yes. Every entity, every unique expression has the right to be its whole, unique self. You have the right to be your whole, unique self. Your whole, weak self. You have the freedom to choose and make those choices that are good for your edification, for your highest self. Come on with it. I will not rigidly impose my idea of how things should be. Don't rigidly impose your idea of how things should be. You know, folks don't all, don't accept everything that I do. I mean, they don't. We sitting up here giving the most positive motivational messages that we in our whole spirit and, 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 and mind is receiving 
for the good of self and the field. Like, this is not edifying just for me, but I want to edify everybody else. If you could get any bit of edification from what we do, huh, it's all to the good for me. I mean, we call that thing I shit. So, but everybody is not going to accept it. Everybody's just not. And I give them the freedom to choose how they want to choose. I mean, across subscriptions, it comes and goes. I mean, one day I might wake up, I got 66. The next day I might have 64. It just be, you know, it's all about what people have the appetite and tolerance for. What can they reconcile? How many of these pieces can they bring together? Some people are very conservative and traditional, and they cannot even conceive that tarot is a part of the intelligence of the logos. They cannot even conceive that God really, I mean, it's like belief in unbelief, my wheat. How can we believe that the source is everything, the infinite, that called all things, but yet we say that certain things are not of God? We directly contradict his word through our own belief by limiting the source. Source didn't limit you. He didn't say, it did not say what you could be and what you could not be. It gave you the freedom to choose. Yet we limit Source all the time, telling Source what it is. Source is this and Source is that. First of all, who said that we had enough knowledge to even say what Source was? I mean, that's pretty audacious, don't you think? That's why I say going back to places that make you realize how big you are puts you in your place, I feel. You know, because it's like, we're so small and we have such limited knowledge and exposure to what this whole system is. Like we really only been on the third rock from our sun. That in itself is immensely limiting. It gives you a viewpoint that says that we don't know shit is what it says. Because the cosmos in the universe is so huge. And if the source made everything, then how much is it to learn about source and what it is? But we are not open. But guess what? I allow you the freedom to be who you are. I mean, I can't change it anyway. So for me to be attached and affixed to what you do and how you move around, it, huh, what is our favorite phrase, my we? It is an exercise in futility. And I will be wasting all of my lovely wheat energy that I need to uh, be good bread. I'm trying to figure that out. And trying to make people come around to my point of view. Oh, no. Either you resonate or you don't. You vibe, subscribe. Hey, if you vibe, subscribe. Come chill with your girl. We ain't gonna do nothing but chop it up and have conversation. I pull cards, let you know what I see in terms of what's blocking you, what you could do to move forward from some stuff, what you might have to dig into from a root perspective. You know, that kingdom gut, that ancestral lineage that you got some power stored up in there. We need to pull that out. Yeah, we do that too. I mean, if it's in creation, and Source says it can speak to me through that for you, for your for my edification first and foremost, huh? My high is good, and then I can serve that good back on to you and be like, hey, wait, did you know that you could do this? Did you know that if you just let go of the mindset that your plan has to work out this, 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 that, dot, 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 in that way, that uh, you give life the ability to factor in some uncertainty that you could trust and lean into that uncertainty that what happens in that space of uncertainty has little nuggets and pearls is preparing you for that same blessing that you asking for it's preparing you for that opportunity and when those preparedness and opportunity meet boom that's that showing up favor they're gonna be like oh that that we blessed right there no it ain't it ain't just because i'm blessed i'm operating on the principles of the most high god I'm calling them principles in on a daily basis, and I'm not beholden to how they play out because I have to understand that the source, the infinite that knows all things, like the infinite intelligence that created the cosmos, like that created creation itself, like when the Father said, let there be light, the infinite intelligence said, boom, let's work it out, Father, let's get to moving and orchestrating all of these things so that light could exist. And Father stood there, the source, and said, Hey, my word is self-assured. When I call that word out, my intelligence is going to go bust that thing open. And all I got to do is sit here and wait and prepare for that to come about. Because right now, the opportunity is now. And, and Father said, look, I trust. I, uh, not only does Father trust. I mean, trust is not even a, y'all you know I mean, like, come on. That's so bare minimum. Father is so self-assured in, in his word. And that's a part of the beauty of detachment. Father is detached from all of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
because it's in motion. The intelligence is letting it play out and is syncopating all things to bring each one of us to our highest good. Yes, we have decision making and freedom in here and we can cause, we can make decisions that impact our now because the intelligence is always adjusting. The universe is adjusting based on how you respond. It's already taken into account every possibility, potentiality of how you could respond and it knows how to adjust as soon as you respond. And that's why in tarot, the energy is always changing. I could say something to you, you can make a different adjustment in your energy and the outcome can be different. Yeah, and some things, if you don't adjust, it just is. And some things just is because it's a part of the design. I can't call it all. I'm not the intelligence. I don't know. And I don't know any messenger that's ever came to say that they know. They don't. I mean, all I do is study the words. You know, I study what they tell us to study. I got so many books over here to study because I'm always trying to get prepared. My weed, I'm trying to get ready. Why? Because when prepare me, preparedness meets that opportunity, I got to be ready to bust about this thing. You know what I mean? I got to be ready to go. Are you ready to go, my week? Are you prepared? Are you detaching from what you think and how it's supposed to go? Are you detached from other people's uh, opinions of you? Oh, yeah. You're going to have to detach from the way that folks feel about you. Because especially if you're trying to do something like far as blow up my week. Oh, you're going to get a whole bunch of haters. You're going to get that Holly Berry, them two point million over a fucking fictional character type haters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told you I'm already collecting thumbs down. Come on, we. You want to thumbs down this here message when I'm just telling you how to be your whole week self? What I've learned, what I've discovered on my walk to being my whole week self? Huh. Showing that up, sharing it in goodness. Everybody ain't going to like you. They ain't. And they ain't supposed to like you. Them not liking you is going to make you react and respond and do something different. Hmm. It's probably make If you're anything like me, we, where we come from, <laughs> you get to hating on me, I'm going to give you something to hate about. Woo! You just lit my fire. You hating on me over time about you need an oil change? Shit. If you don't need an oil change, then you must be driving that 2020 Tesla. Huh? Tell about it, we. You don't need because my car don't take oil. Oh, no. Oh, no. See, some folks don't understand that. Some folks may not understand that, yeah, this right here anointing, you got oil on you. You got oil on you. You got oil on you. But we done been through some shit. We, we done been through some shit. And every time, every day, that you, every time, time, or all that shit, get on with that energy. Come on now, we. Every time we go through the nonsense, the bullshit, and I mean just day-to-day -day basis. Day-to-day. -day, I'm saying, because I look, me, I try to push that shit out. And I don't have to go super hard every day, but it's all about that mental focus. I want to get everything out of every day that I can get. It, it, look, if I don't have the energy and the voice to keep pushing out more messages, I'm running through them clips, them archives, and picking out the messages that I'm feeling that's resonating. Oh, we spoke on that. We're going to clip this out, put it out there, put it out. Give them some bites. Give them some bites. Give them some bites. It's a way to work. It's always a way to work. It's always a way to push it out. It's always a way to do something that's going to move you forward to where you want to be, to your highest self, your highest good. And when you start getting on that path to your highest self, your highest good, serve that back out into your field, my wheat. Because guess what? We all call for good bread. Ah, yes, we are. And I got some bread up in my wheat field. I don't know what y'all got in y'all lot. I'm just saying. I got some bread up in mine. Shit, we got some whole wheat. We got some oatmeal. We got some pumpernickel. Oh, we got some focaccia. Oh, come on, y'all. We got all kind of bread up in there. When the last time you done been to a bread shop? Huh? We got all kind of bread. Go ahead on that focaccia. I see you with that scholarship. You go ahead on, girl. And don't you tell nobody that you ain't good bread. If they got something to say, tell them to go talk to your maker. Huh, and sit down a hill somewhere. That's what they need. Go find something safe to do. What they like. That's what they need to do. Go get them lumens up. Because you're shining too bright out there, girl. You go. That's right. It's good bread around here. What kind of bread are you? You going to sit around there on the shelf being wonder bread, wondering about what life is going to do, wondering about what you could have had, wondering how far you could have went, wondering how what is your highest height, what would it feel like you wondering. 
Oh, you gonna be whole bread. Ah, I'm going to get my whole portion. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm going to get my whole portion. I want it all. I want every last crumb. And I ain't sharing shit. Want to know why? Because you got your own bread. Come over here asking for my bread when you got your own bread. You better go make your bread. Just say it. I love y'all. I love y'all so, so much. I hope y'all had a good day. I hope you enjoyed this episode, this segment. And if you did, if you did, come back around here and set for a spell. You never know what we're going to do. I mean, I'm telling you, at this place right here, it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Go on, Tom Hanks with that forest gun. I swear to God, I love it. I love me some movies. Y'all going to hear a lot of that. Come on back back here. All right? Come on back around here and sit for a spell. Do my granny from like the Beverly Hills Beverly. She was standing out there waving so long. She had to hold that wrist up. That was the funniest shit in the world to me. Lord, she had to hold. She standing out there waving and waving and waving. They ain't pulled off yet. They still standing there. She had to grab that wrist and start like, look, if you don't get the hell on. <laughs> Taking forever to say goodbye. Y'all watch them old segments in the archives. I didn't know how to end the video. I done got good. Now we can say, all right, y'all love you. Goodbye, Ashe. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, have a great day. I hope it's beautiful. I hope you have some joy. I hope you up and motivated. Be detached from how shit is going to play out. Right? And that shit moving, bob, you bobbing and weaving and you adjusting, you getting exactly what you need to prepare yourself for this opportunity. Haters is coming at you. Accept it. Find a way to make more. Dig into that thing because if folks ain't liking what, you, liking what you're doing, oh, you show nothing to change something. Yeah, especially if it's speaking to you in that spirit and you know you're doing the right thing and you know you're on the right path and you know it's for your highest good, something that you could serve back out. Psh, don't let nobody tell you that whatever that is. You stay right here on that vision, on that heart space. What the Spirit said and you know, what you got in this kingdom is going to push that thing out. You stay firm, but don't be so attached to it. Yeah, no. Just operate in it. Have some fun, some joy. It doesn't, you know, don't, don't, don't let it be so heavy, my weed. Don't let it be so heavy. The time is still always now. When is it? <laughs> it's now. Now. What time is it always, my week? It's always now. So let's get it. Until the next time, I say. Mm -hmm. Well, till the next now.